Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you guys how to drastically increase your transfer speeds from this to this. So stick around and I'll show you guys how it's done. So if you're copying files or data or whatever over to a spinning hard drive, so typically 7200 RPM or 5400 RPM, but any standard hard drive, this will speed it up. So for this tutorial, you need two things. One, you need a solid state drive. And number two, you need a software called Primo Cache. So before we're using any of that stuff, I'm going to demonstrate how fast my transfers are, or I should say how slow they are. So right click properties. I'm showing you guys that I'm going to transfer 17.3 gigabytes over to my storage space drive. So it starts off very fast, but it quickly dies down because it's cached initially. But essentially it's gone down to like 30 megabytes per second. So I'm going to show you guys that it's a storage space. It's of type parity and parity is basically kind of like RAID 5, but that's not really that important for this video. I just want to show you guys that parity is slow and I'm copying files to parity hard drive and it's basically very slow. This works with any other hard drive as well. I, this is just the slowest one that I chose to demonstrate. So go ahead and close this and just delete the files that we copied and open up your software called Primo Cache and I'll put a link in the description below where to get the software but click yes and so to give you guys some information on Primo Cache, Primo Cache is basically caches what you're copying onto a solid state drive so it speeds up the transfers drastically. So we're gonna go to my computer and I'm gonna show you guys that I have my H drive which is a solid state drive so this there's nothing in here if there is anything in here it's gonna be erased so make sure that everything's backed up but you basically need an empty solid state drive so go ahead and click on manage level 2 storage so then we're gonna click on create level 2 storage now we're gonna find our solid state drive and it's the H drive, so you could see this the H drive again. Back up everything because it's going to erase everything. And click on format. Now, this is going to basically reserve this solid state drive for us to be used as a caching mechanism. So now, when we go back to my computer, you could see the H drive is gone. You can't use it for anything else because it's reserved for caching. Now, you could partition that and use a partition of it, but I'm just using the whole thing. So click on new cache task and then now you're going to select the hard drive you want to basically cache. So the, the hard drive that you want to speed up, whether you're reading or writing. So in my case, I want to speed up my storage space pool data. So I clicked on that. So click on preset configurations just to speed things up and click on acceleration, read and accelerate, read and write. So if you want to just accelerate, read, you can always change this later on. But because I have a lot of space, my level one cache, I'm gonna put it to the max. And for level one cache, we're gonna leave this alone. We're not gonna select anything. And level two cache, we're gonna click on this button. And you can see it's actually all used for read, but we wanna go 50-50 for read and write. Again, this is personal preference. So if you wanna have fast writes and fast reads, that's what I recommend doing. Leave the block size at the maximum. And you could change the enable defer and write, but I basically have it enabled. And I'm going to leave the latency at 10 seconds. So then go ahead and click on start. Okay, so this will start reading the cache as well, but now we're going to start transferring the files. So the same files that we were transferring, again, no magic here, 17.3 gigabytes. We're going to transfer it here. Now you could see it's transferring it insanely fast the whole way through, but it's actually writing the data to the RAM. So it's actually caching it. That's why you see the deferred blocks going up. So now this is done and it's basically usable. So I clicked on the video file just to demonstrate that it works and I'm fast forwarding through the video. You could see the entire video is here. And this is a Tesla skit I did. You guys could actually see this video on one of my feeds. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, by the way. So when you, you could see that now it's actually 17.3 gigabytes. But the way it actually worked is this actually transferred everything to my RAM. And my RAM is actually slowly writing to the storage pool.
But all these files are usable. I could copy this elsewhere. And to demonstrate, I'm going to open up Task Manager. You could see my memory is like almost fully being used. And you can also see Disk 8, my Z drive, is all also at like 100%. So the computer is still working and transferring the files. But to the user, it's done. And it's fully usable. And I can also take these files and copy it elsewhere because it'll just take it from the cache. So as the deferred blocks write, you could see we still have level 1 cache available because we assigned 24 gigs initially and we only copied 17.3 gigs so that's why we still have over 6 gigs left. So we didn't even hit our level 2 cache. The advantage of having a larger SSD is you can you know, cache multiple hard drives. It also helps with larger tra file transfers as well. Hopefully this helps. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below for new Tech and Tesla videos every single week. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment sections below.